Hey guys, if you have made it past all the lip swatches in the beginning, thank you. I do have a lot to say about these new lipsticks. And again, I say haul because I have like six things compared to other girls who have like 40 things they buy when they do a Sephora or Ulta haul. But I do want to say it was definitely worth it because I already found a lot of holy grails. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's begin. I haven't done my eyeliner and my highlight as you can see. So other than the nude lipsticks, I did get a couple of other things, literally a couple, just an eyeliner and a highlighter. So a few weeks ago, I went to Ulta and I was testing out a bunch of liquid liners. I've been using my double take from Tarte for the longest time, which I love, but I wanted to try out more. So I just went around Ulta and swatched a bunch of eyeliners on my hand. I came home, I washed my hand and the only liner left on my hand and was Fenty eyeliner. And that sounds like a good thing, but it was actually really scary because I scrubbed it, I washed it, and for two days, this liner was stuck on my hand. Even though this lasted on my hand for two days, it could be a completely different story with my oily eyelids and my hooded eyes. Really nice and pretty and sleek. Oh yeah, look at that. I love that it's like a triangle or a teardrop. Like it's just a fun shape to hold. As of right now, I don't really think it matters how it looks because I'm gonna be covering this with fake lashes. But I just wanna see how easy, oh my gosh, wait, what happened? I just wanna see how easy it flows with my hand and how I hold it. I feel like this is a lot sharper than my double take Tartiste. Like it's a lot firmer, it doesn't really slide well, it kind of catches on my lid. But again, I've had my double take for the longest time and maybe it's just worn and soft now. For some reason, it's catching on to stuff. I don't know, I kind of expected more from that. It's pretty, it's nice and dark, and I'm sure it's gonna stay on my lids. Uh, not too sure how I feel about this just yet. Probably just something I have to get used to. I love the sleek design. Oh my god, that took forever to get the Fenty liner off my fingers. I had to use my makeup oil remover like, and scratch it in there, so yeah, I'm scared. To remove this okay so next my favorite thing from this haul which i didn't buy in store i bought it online but it took almost two weeks to get here and it is selena gomez's rare beauty brand and this is her highlighter i ordered this before the whole drama happened so when that happened i was like oh yeah i have something from selena coming why am I showing you the box? Show me, I see the box. I think this is the second color. The first one is like a really white or pink. I don't tend to do those shades. I tend to go for more of the golden, which a lot of people do too, hence it being sold out. You are rare. Oh, that's cute. Exhilarate. And just seeing everyone swatch this, and I was just like, oh my gosh, that highlighter looks so, so it's so pretty. It's like, why do I want to say a baby's bum? Like it's so, it looks so soft. So again, that's exhilarate. When I saw girls putting this on their cheeks, it just looks so nice and smooth and bright. It didn't look like a glittery highlight. I feel like the closest highlight I have to this is Laura Geller's Gilded Honey. I just say that because it's gold. Let's just swatch this next to That's Gilded Honey and then that's Selena's Exhilarate. You can see there's more pinky to that gold and this is just like pure gold. Oh yeah. Ooh, that first placement, right when I went like that, oh my gosh, it was so pretty. Selena, no Selena, Selena. I just want to keep on going, going like that. <laughs> That's a definite win. I'm loving this shade. Also very beautiful under the eyebrow. Ooh, let's put it on my collarbones. I feel like this is when you can really see all the magic of a highlighter. Yes. Ooh. I'm sorry, I just haven't been excited over a highlighter in a long time. And I didn't think I'd be this much in love with it. I just feel like such a glowing goddess, yes. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm not, you know, doing the whole overhyping thing. I have nothing to gain from that, but I'm, I haven't been this excited over makeup. I feel so like goddessy. Look at that. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. So I only have only one, two, three, 
four lipsticks. Again, to me, that is a haul. I just got Fenty, Rare Beauty, and then Urban Decay. For the new lipsticks, I didn't want to grab anything limited edition. I wanted to get staple nude lipsticks. So I'm sure this is common sense, but if you are like me and use nude lipsticks that are not being sold anymore, what I did was I swatched my favorite nude lipsticks and I went into Ulta, I went into Sephora and then swatched the lipsticks I was thinking of getting. There was actually a few lipsticks I didn't get because when I swatched them next to my favorites, like they were too dark or too bright. So my two favorite lipsticks, my Dose of Colors No Shade, the Desi Katie collab, so obviously that's not a permanent thing, and then ColourPop's Quickie, which I'm actually shocked isn't permanent. If you're watching this and then my Ulta nude lipstick haul, you'll see that all of my lipsticks, all of my nude lipsticks are always in bullets because I like using nude lipsticks outside. It's so easy to just throw on your nude lipstick without looking at a mirror compared to a liquid lipstick where you have to take it out and like you don't know where you're going. So Urban Decay's Vice lipsticks, I feel like these have been here forever. I don't think Rare Beauty's lipsticks are like a limited edition thing. I feel like these shades will also be here for a long time. And then Fenty's, since Fenty's lipstick bullets, you have to buy an actual case for the lipsticks. I feel like that's gonna be permanent because people are gonna be pissed off if they stop selling this lipstick and then they have this bullet just sitting there. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna open it. I actually really like the blue one too, but you could only get the blue one online. So yeah, you're supposed to ah, click on the lipstick here and then click it here. So it's a refillable lipstick. The closest nude to what I love is Fenty's Mother Lover. I love that name. Oh, that's so pretty. This is supposed to fit the shape of Rihanna's lips, which I think is really cool. You click it. There you go. Ooh. Ooh, I love that. Okay. Wait, where does it go? Where does it go? So you twist it. Ooh. I bet you I'm just gonna be, if I'm bored, I'm just gonna be doing this all day and I'm probably gonna break it. Yeah, that looks like a typical nude lipstick I would go for. That is mother lover. I don't know, now I feel like it looks a little bit more pink than I would like, but then again, that's what a lip liner is for. I mean, if I put a brown lip liner over that, or if I'm doing a more pinky, bright, girly look, then I would use this as a nude. Okay, so next we're gonna stick with another Fenty lip product. This is Fenty Glow. It's a gloss balm cream. So even though you wear this by itself as a lip cream, I'm just gonna try it over this lipstick first and see how it looks. And then I'll wipe that off and then try it by itself. Very pink as well. I wanna see if this is gonna make it pinker. Ooh. Yep, that's definitely gonna be a color by itself. Honestly, that just looks like every single nude lip combo I use. I always use my ColourPop Quickie. And then for lip gloss, I always put on Artist Couture's Uncensored. And I love that combo. This combo looks like that combo, just a little tiny bit more pink. So I'm gonna wipe this off and then put on the lip balm by itself. When I was watching girls put this on on YouTube, like it didn't look this peachy and thick. So yeah, you could definitely wear that by itself as like a glossy liquid lipstick, but for some reason, I think it looked better with the pink lipstick. Honestly, I could live without one or the other. I like Artist Couture's lip gloss so much that I don't think I need the gloss. That sucks. I really thought I was gonna like that. I really think it's probably because of my lip color pushing through, but if I put this on top of a two nude lipstick, you know what? Let's try that. We're just experimenting here. Let me go grab that lipstick. I'm sorry I'm taking my time. I just want to play with makeup and enjoy myself right now. Because again, these are products I want for myself versus for a makeup video. You can see that's almost near concealer looking lips, which I do love. And I want to see if the pink will kind of tone it down. So yeah, it looks good with this gloss. I love this combo. Ugh, so frustrating. I don't know what to do with you. Don't come for me, but I feel like everything I've gone from Fenty has been like meh, her other lipsticks. These lipsticks, I have no idea if she's still selling these, but these, like this edge, 
always scratches my lips. The eyeliner, I'm still like eh about. Um, I'm not big on this color. And then with this, feels really nice on the lips. Just it's not it's not convincing me to want to try it again. I can't say anything for her foundation or concealer or all the other makeup she has, but so far like I don't know if it's a brand I'm going to keep buying from. Again, don't come for me. It's just my personal experience. Anyways, let's go on to the next product. This is Urban Decay's High Impact Vegan Lipstick. Their Vice lipstick has been around since forever. So at least I'll know that this will always be here. Hopefully, I don't know because this shade was on sale and usually when Sephora does sales, that means they're getting rid of it. This is in the shade Oat Milk, which is perfect for me because I love oat milk. This is more of my nude. You can see how the Fenty one looks like dark pink compared to the nude of the Urban Decay. Yep, see this is more of my nude. Bam, perfect. This is gonna be a staple for me. I kinda wanna show you without the bright ring light. See, that looks like a regular nude color. As of right now, this is the perfect shade so far because my Dose of Colors one, as you saw, is very concealer-y. And if it was just a little bit darker, it would've been perfect. And that is what this is. This is a darker version of the No Shade lipstick. Mm, and it's hydrating, but Urban Decay, please, I really hope you're not taking this away because this is a perfect shade. And I freaking love that it's called oat milk. I'm obsessed with oat milk. <laughs> the only thing I don't like is that the lid is kind of confusing. Not a fan of the container because you get all your dirty fingerprints on this, but who cares? And obviously this would look really pretty with a lip liner. I wanted to show you guys first just the color of the lipsticks. Okay, so we have one more that I haven't swatched in store. When I saw that 20% off pop up on my cart, I immediately just threw all of these in without even swatching them. So this is in her shade Creative. And I'm hoping, but I highly doubt that I'm gonna love it as much as the highlight and as this lipstick. So again, I'm really hoping, ooh, have I watched anyone put this on on YouTube? because I feel like I've never seen this packaging. See how it's flat and it, it becomes curved. Maybe I haven't been paying attention when I watch YouTube videos, but I didn't know the packaging looked like this. Ooh, I'm not sure. It looks a little dark. I'm scared. I don't want to waste this product if I know I'm not gonna like it. You can see how light the Urban Decay one is. Ooh. This is looking darker than the other two. I don't want to have to return it. I don't know. It just feels embarrassing when you return stuff because it feels like they question you. You know, if you're like, oh, I didn't like it or it didn't work for me, they'll be like, mm-hmm. You probably just wore it once for something and then you're returning it. But I want to be like, no, I really don't like it. Please don't fail me now, Selena. That is my fault. I should have swatched it in store. But I could swear this was the lightest shade. But who knows, this could magically work. It looks way darker than the nudes I would wear, but I want to do. As I live and breathe, raisin. <laughs> this, but. Oh, I would actually wear that nude. That's insane. As you've been hearing this whole video, I love my light concealer nudes, but I just, I feel like it works with my skin tone. I don't know if it's because of more of a brown nude versus a pink nude. That's so crazy how this nude is so so different from the Urban Decay one, yet I feel like these two are like my perfect nudes. That's crazy how lipstick, not even lipstick, makeup can do that where you look at it and you're like, ooh, I don't like that. And then when you try it on, you're like, holy crap, that's amazing. Or it could be the opposite where you're like, oh, that's gonna be perfect for me. And then you try it on and it looks nothing like that. Dang, okay. Good job, Selena. <laughs> See, I think it looks cute with the smile. I'm sorry, I'm just mind blown because I haven't experimented with enough new lipsticks to like feel out different shades of nude, but I'm honestly shocked. Like I didn't know that could happen. So I guess I found three holy grails. I found this highlighter, come on, come on. I know we're all staring at this. I know you're looking at me. Well, duh, you're looking at me, you're watching this video. <laughs> Lipstick, perfect brown, pink darker nude lipstick than I usually wear and then my perfect typical light nude lipstick. Oh, that's so fun. 
Ooh, that might be dangerous though for if you put this in your bag. I'm coming back with a round two of vegan cruelty-free nude lipsticks from Ulta and see how the more affordable lipsticks compare to these. I'm hoping to be wowed. I don't think I'm gonna be that wowed but I'm hoping to be wowed. So again, thank you guys for watching. I hope you were excited like I was when I put everything on. So yeah, I hope I see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. That sounded so cheesy. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I, I feel like smiling in this lipstick, like it makes me want to smile. That's so weird. I've never had a lipstick make me want to smile. <laughs>